processing. Word processing mostly includes text, but also can support uh, graphics, drawing, tables, etc. When you say word processing, it doesn't mean that it only refer to text. It can also support graphics, drawings, tables, etc. Okay, word processing is one of the most popular software in the world, and this may be the first software which is introduced to beginners when they are about to start learning computers or any uh, mobile phones etc so uh, there are many word processing packages in the world um, the most popular one is microsoft word which comes with microsoft office this microsoft word is manufactured by developed by microsoft company and this is one of the most popular word processing software but this microsoft word is to be purchased by the user and if you use without purchasing it is illegal therefore ccc course recommends LibreOffice. okay LibreOffice, uh, which i highlighted here in blue and this is the um free open source word <coughs> processing software uh, just like Microsoft Office, LibreOffice is also a package. Under LibreOffice, there is a, a word processing software called uh, LibreWriter. Okay, LibreWriter. So uh, previously we used to study Microsoft Word, but from the new syllabus on Word in CCC course, we are about to study uh, LibreOffice. In LibreOffice, the word processing software which we are going to study is LibreWriter, all right? And there are many other word processing softwares like WPS Office, OpenOffice, Google Docs, etc. WPS Office, Google Docs, etc. are available both for Android and Windows. So you can install any of these word processing software inside your computer or your system and you can start practicing. But for this CCC course, we are about to, we are going to learn LibreOffice Writer for word processing. And um, in any word processing software, you will find title bar where the name of the uh, software as well as the names of the documents have written. It is usually at the topmost portion and you will also have the menu bar where there are lots of menu clickable menus like file, edit, view, etc. And you will also have toolbars like uh, the print button, the save button, the open button, and so many tools are there. Those are known as the toolbars. And we also have sidebars. Uh, sidebars are those tools available on the left side or on the right side, okay? I'll show you these things in uh, LibreOffice Writer, all right? So the title bar is <clears throat> here I have pointed out or I have a circle in red. This is the title bar. Welcome is the file name and ODT is the file extension and LibreOffice Writer. And this is the menu bar where file, edit, view, etc. Just below the mm, title bar, there is a menu bar and just below that the menu bar we have toolbars like new new buttons open button save button print button etc all, all these are known as the toolbar we also have the sidebar which i have shown you here on the right side this is the properties okay these are known as the sidebars all right so the same applies to microsoft office also this is the Windows and the latest version of Microsoft Office 2019. And here we have uh, document one word. This is the, the, the title bar and um, the menu bar is a circle. In, the, the menu bar is in green box and the toolbars are in blue box, all right? Here I have not shown you the um, sidebars, okay? But still there is sidebar in Microsoft Office also. Now let's go to how to create new documents in LibreOffice. In order to create new documents, as soon as you open a LibreOffice writer, you will be welcome with a blank document, which is known as Untitled 1. But in Microsoft Word, it will be, uh, it will be Document 1. 
And if you want to create a new document, the process is you have to click, click file here, number one, and you have to go to new, number two, and you have to go to three, which is text document, all right? So you have to follow uh, this uh, three step one, two, three. But if you want to avoid these uh, three steps, you can simply press Control and N, Control plus N. When I said Control plus N, um, you have to hold down the Control key and press N button. Then new document will come. In Microsoft Word, you have to go to Home, New, and Blank Document. This is the same as Microsoft Word. Uh, even though Microsoft Word is not specifically mentioned in the syllabus nowadays, uh, I'll, I'll try to uh, teach you about as far as possible, all right? Um, we learn LibreOffice as well as Microsoft Word because Microsoft Word is the most popular and it is available everywhere. But LibreOffice is also uh, freely downloadable. You can download from LibreOffice uh, dot org website and the size is also very small it's around uh, 200 megabytes and uh, last night itself i installed for myself for this teaching and <clears throat> excuse me let's go to the next slide <clears throat> the next is saving a document when you want to save a document you have to go to file and save. The keyboard shortcut is control S. Uh, as a student of CCC, I want you to remember and by heart uh, all the keyboard shortcuts which I have mentioned here, okay? Keyboard shortcuts are very, very important for your examination. So if you don't want to follow the keyboard shortcut, you can go to file and save. Then uh, a file, Save dialog box will open and you have to type the name of the file and then click the save button. So please remember the uh, file extension for this LibreOffice writer, which is ODT. ODT means uh, open document text. All right. Sometimes you will also encounter a file extension, which is known as ODF, which is open document format. All right. Now let's go to the next slide. Closing a document. Closing is uh, one of the most easiest steps. <coughs> we can uh, click the X button on the top right hand corner, <coughs> which usually close the document, but uh, the, the process can be followed in <coughs> this file menu also. Uh, you have to click file and close in LibreOffice. Uh, in Microsoft Office also file close. And the keyboard shortcut for closing a file is Control W and opening documents. When you save some files, uh, and if, if you want to open the already existing files that you had saved in the previous days or some weeks back, you can go to File, Open, all right? The keyboard shortcut is Control O. And um, there, a file dialog box will appear. And from that file dialog box, you can go to the place where you save your file. For example, we mostly save the file in documents folder. Or sometimes if you want, you can save in download folders or some other drive or so. So you have to open the folder and select the file and then click the open button and the new file will open. I think that's not difficult. The process is same and the keyboard shortcut is same for LibreOffice as well as Microsoft Office. And uh, if you want to save the file in different format, or if you want to save another copy of the file, modify another copy of the file, uh, you can go to File Save As, all right? The keyboard shortcut is Control Save As. The, the keyboard shortcut for Save is Control S, but here the keyboard shortcut for uh, Save As is Control Save S. So you will uh, see a dialog box like this. This dialog box is taken from LibreOffice Writer and it will give the file name as well as the different formats. For example, in this uh, save as type, we have uh, ODF, we have um, flat XML, we have uh, Word also, uh, we have Dogbook also. So LibreOffice even support Microsoft extensions like DOC, DOCX. That means in LibreOffice Writer, 
you can save what document formats also you can open what document formats also it is compatible and it is easy and after giving the file name and selecting the save as type you can click save button and now let's go to the page setup all right those are those uh, save open etc are basic uh, actions which everybody i hope everybody already knew it and let's go to the page setup now so page setup means uh, you have uh, if your document is for printing you have to care about page setup all right so you have to specify whether you are going to uh, print using a4 paper or you are going to print using legal paper something like that you have to uh, set up the page so in order to do that in this uh, library office you have to click format menu and from that format menu you have to click page style and you have to click page step all right and then this will be the page step. The, you will find these types of page step. And in this page step, uh, the most important one is format A4. Or you can select legal, or you can select letter, or you can select A5, any types of paper size you want. And you can, and the width and height will be automatically uh, uh, populated. And another important thing is you have to select the orientation. If you want to print in the um, uh, <coughs> portrait mode, Atungzo, you can select this portrait mode. But if you want to print in the horizontal format, you can select the landscape mode. The portrait mode is vertical and the landscape mode is the horizontal. So in Mizo, it is Atungzo and Akampezo, all right? And you can also set the margins. Margins are uh, automatically set to two centimeter in LibreOffice, but I don't know what is the default margin in MS Word. And margins are nothing but the blank space which will occurs at every corner of the page. For example, if I say the top margin, it is the blank space, the blank space to be at the top. If you give more margin uh, at the top then there will be more blank spaces. Likewise, on the bottom side or on the left and right side also. So uh, after setting whatever you want, you can click OK to uh, finish the page setup. The process is a little bit different in Microsoft Word. That's why I have given you another um, text here in blue color. In Microsoft Word, you have to select, uh, you have to go to layout and you have to select size for uh, in that size you can select a4 legal etc and you, you can go to orientation to specify whether you want it to to be vertical or horizontal so uh, that means portrait and uh, landscape and you can also even set the margins in this microsoft word all right that's the page setup in both uh, LibreOffice writer and microsoft word now let's go to the next slide so the next slide is about print preview. Before printing, you may want to look how uh, will it look like after, after you finish printing in paper, all right? So in, if you want to see that, you have to go to File and Print Preview. The keyboard shortcut is Control Shift and O. That means you have to hold down Control, you have to hold down Shift together, and just simply press O right it's not zero it's O, and then uh, you will see these types of um, views all right here i open bcnu syllabus 2019 and the my print preview is zoom at 75 percent the exact uh, size will be 100 percent so if you want to see the exact size how it, it will look when you print out um, you have to set the zoom to 100%. The process is uh, almost similar to Microsoft Word, but in Microsoft Word, you have to go to File and click Print. There is no Print Preview in Microsoft Word, but when you click Print Preview, uh, Print, when you click Print in Microsoft Word, and uh, another window will uh, display the preview, uh, the preview document, all right? So that means every time when you are tr trying to print the document, you will see the print preview. No need to specify uh, separately. 
I hope you understand. Now let's go to the next one, which is known as printing document. Printing document is very, very important um, because if you can simply type document and if you don't know how to print, uh, I think it will be useless. So um, <clears throat> in order to print, the process is same in both uh, Microsoft Word as well as LibreOffice Writer. You have to go to File, Print. The keyboard shortcut is also same, Control plus P. So when you press Control plus P, you will encounter these types of dialog box in LibreOffice. So here, I'll try to explain the most important points in this print dialog box. The first one is uh, printer. Suppose if you are having lots of printer in your laptop or your system, you have to select the printer. But if you have only one printer, I think it will be selected automatically. But if you have color printer as well as laser printer, you have to select to which printer you are about to print from this printer dialog box. Another one is uh, renders and copies. How many copies you want? Suppose if you want to print all the pages, you can say all pages. But if you want to print page number one to five out of page 100, you can select pages and put one minus five. That means one to five, one minus five. I say minus, actually it's hyphen, okay? One hyphen five, that means one to five. If you want to print one, three, seven, something like that, you can do one comma three comma seven, all right? So if you want to print even pages and all pages, you can select from here. This is also another important concept. When you have many pages, but you want to print something, something only. If you want to print uh, uh, 880 to 95, you can select 80 hyphen 95 out of 100 pages, something like that. So um, page layout, before printing, you have to select the page layout and the paper size correctly. If your document is set in vertical manner, but if you are printing in horizontal manner, it will not be correct. So the way you set the page, the page setup as well as the, the page layout here in the print dialog box must be the same in order to print it correctly, all right? And after selecting all these things, uh, you can specify the number of copies in this more button but which is not uh, visible here suppose if you want to print um, two copies three copies you can select it and then uh, click print in order to print the dialog box will look a little bit different in microsoft office but mostly these things are same select the printer select the range and number of copies and the page layout it will be the same and there will it will not be difficult and then let's go to the next slide. The next slide is one of the features which I like the most in this LibreOffice Writer, which is you can export to PDF directly. Microsoft Office 2007 and the older version of those Microsoft Office Word do not support export into PDF. So I used to install a separate uh, PDF printer when I want to print out using PDF file. But uh, in this LibreOffice, uh, you can go to file, export as, and export directly as PDF here, or you can say export as PDF if you want to modify, uh, give some properties to the PDF. And you can also even export to EPUB, which is very, very popular for mobile phones, all right? So I want you to remember the full form also. PDF means portable document format. EPUB means electronic publications, which is uh, uh, one of the most uh, popular file formats in uh, mobile phones, all right? So uh, if you do like this, the output will be the PDF format. The uh, advantages of this PDF format is uh, it cannot be modified anymore, all right? If you want to make that PDF final, uh, and that file as final, you can export into PDF. In Microsoft Office, uh, you can export if you are using the latest version. I think from version 2016, PDF export is supported, but previous version of Microsoft Word do not support export into PDF file. All right, so this is very, very uh, uh, helpful and very useful feature in LibreOffice Writer. 
Now let's talk about the next thing, which is uh, text editing and selecting. I will assume all of you to be a beginner, even though you may be a little bit expert in this uh, word processing. Um, these are some of the points that you have to remember. When you want to type something, you can type directly from the keyboard. But if you want to go to the new line or if you want to make some spaces, you can press enter. All right, you can press enter. And, but if you want to uh, give some space between words, you can press space bar for one tap and uh, uh, one space bar for one space and tap for more than one space. I request you to uh, familiar with this tab, which is available on the uh, left hand side of your keyboard. Many students confuse uh, the use of this space bar and tap. Many students uh, and press space bar many times if they want more space between words. But I suggest you to use tap if you want more space between words, okay? Tap is the correct, uh, the correct way, all right? And um, another thing is if you want to delete the text you have already typed, that, that means you can press backspace if you want to delete the left character from the cursor, all right? I hope you know cursor. Cursor is the things which usually blink, the capital I, which usually blink, all right? When you are about to type something, that is the cursor. So if you want to, do, to delete the character on the left side, you can press space and uh, backspace. If you want to delete the character at the right side, you can press delete button. And um, you can also press down shift button, shift key, and use arrow keys. I hope you know arrow keys, right? Arrow keys are those keys uh, which are used to go, to move up, down, left, right, left, right, up, down, left, right, all right? These are the arrow keys. So you can use this arrow keys along with shift key to move, uh, to select, all right? To select, if you want to select the right side, you can hold down the um, shift key and go to the right arrow. This, the selection can be also done by using um, this uh, mouse, all right? In mouse, you have uh, the click and the right click. So you can hold on the mouse, that is the click, the left one, and before releasing the left one, you can drag to select, all right? Selection will be very, very important when you want to draw, uh, when you want to do anything in this uh, word processing software. And I want you to remember if you double click any uh, word, it will be selected. But if you want to, if you triple click, that means if you click three times, the entire paragraph or the entire line will be selected. Double click means to select a word and triple click means to select a paragraph. Now copy, cut, paste. I hope you all are familiar with this, there, but let's uh, quickly go through it. Uh, when you copy or cut something, uh, that text or data is stored temporarily somewhere. That place is known as clipboard, okay? In clipboard, your text or um, <coughs> data which you have copied are temporarily stored. And uh, if you cut the keyboard shortcut is Control X, uh, it will the data or the text will be lost from the original position. But if you copy the, the data or the text which you have selected will not be lost in the original position. And you can place wherever you like. You can place the copy or the cut text or data to the location uh, of the cursor, all right? So this is copy cut page. And this is very, very useful. One important thing which I have not written here is before doing copy or cut, you have to select it. You can follow the selection method which I previously mentioned in the slide. Now let's go to the font, color, style, and size. So uh, I hope you know what is font. Uh, there are some nice font and depending on the font, your text or your document may look beautiful. Depending on your font, your text or documents may look official. So you have to be very careful, very careful when selecting the fonts. 
All right. So this is the font and this is the size. You can select whatever size you want. And this is the style you can select from here. If you want to make your font to be like that, uh, this, this type of size and bold, you can simply click after selecting the text or the documents. And this is the uh, color. Here is the color box. If you click this color box, a different color will appear. You can select any color to change the color of the text, all right? But please remember, in order to change any style or any color or any uh, font or size, you have to select it before changing, all right? If you do not select, it will not be changed. Now let's go to the next one, which is alignment. We have four important types of alignment in word processing. And this is applicable to uh, Microsoft Word as well as uh, LibreOffice Writer. So uh, first one is align left. The keyboard shortcut is Control L. This is the default one, and all the text are uh, all the text the right the left side of the text are e equal and align center. That means to make the, the heading at the center, or if you want to make the text at the middle, you can press Control E. Another one is align, align right side, all right? To make text equal on the right side, that is Control R. And another one is justified. That means uh, to make your uh, text or paragraph beautiful by um, making the left side and the right side equal. I think these are the four um, alignment of text, which is important in word processing. Now let's go to um, uh, the tools, which is useful when you are performing uh, any mistakes or you want to go back to the previous state before you modify anything. That is, you can simply press Control Z undo. You can press Control Z again to move back to the previous step, any number of steps. Nowadays, Microsoft support number of steps to move back. But if you want to move forward, you can do redo, control Y, all right? Here in LibreOffice, I have highlight the un undo in red and the redo in blue, all right? This undo and redo. Now let's go to uh, autocorrect uh, or spelling or grammar uh, in um, LibreOffice. You, First of all, you have to open an uh, documents uh, where you want to say uh, <clears throat> you want to check the spelling grammars and you want to perform autocorrect or something like that. So uh, you can go to tools and autocorrect for uh, autocorrect. Let me explain what is autocorrect first. Autocorrect is the things that you have to type uh, and the, the, the software, the, the word processing software will automatically change it to the correct one. For example, in Microsoft Office, please type the word T-E-H there in MISO language. It will automatically change to T-H-E, the in English word, okay? That is set using autocorrect. You can remove that if you don't like. But if you want to add new, you can add new things also. So suppose if you want to, if I want my document to change uh, CCC to course on computer concept automatically, whenever I type CCC, I can set using autocorrect. I hope it's clear, right? Autocorrect is uh, anything which will be automatically corrected by the uh, word processing software. All right, and spelling and grammar, I think I don't need to mention it. Uh, I hope you know. Um, this uh, LibreOffice, Microsoft Word can even uh, check spelling as well as some simple grammatical errors also. Therefore, I prefer to use Microsoft Word, this uh, LibreOffice, etc. word processing software, which comes with spelling and grammars when I'm writing official letters or official documents. So that that improve my writing and that uh, prevent me to commit some mistakes, okay? So I suggest you to try it. But in Microsoft Word, the process is a little bit different. For spelling and grammar, you can go to review and spelling and grammar. 
and it's the keyboard shortcut is same for LibreOffice Writer and Microsoft Word. It, it is F7, but for autocorrect, the process is a little bit longer in Microsoft Word. You have to go to File, Option, Proofing, and Autocorrect Options, all right? This is about autocorrect. Now let's go to Find and Replace. Find and Replace. We are... Yeah, I will answer whatever questions you have. Please type in the chat box. We are almost uh, done with the PPT. Uh, if you want a practical demo and if there is time, uh, I'll try to do practical demo, okay? Don't worry. But uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to type in the uh, chat box. So uh, suppose you, if you want to replace something or if you want to find some words inside your document, you have to go to edit find. All right, um, suppose uh, you don't want to use some words which you think not nice. So in order to uh, find out whether that word is in your document, you can go to find, edit, and type the word. And if it is available, uh, you will find it and you can replace it, all right? So if you want to replace, you can go to find and replace, uh, which is the keyboard shortcut is control H and uh, suppose uh, I, I type CCC in short form, but my teacher or um, <clears throat> the place where I'm, I'm about to submit the document require that CCC should be typed in full. Since I have so many CCC, uh, finding out from single page and replacing it, go to second page, replacing it. Suppose if you have uh, 100 pages, it will take a lot of time. So in order to avoid that, you can go to find and replace. Uh, you'll find these types of dialog box. So you'll find these types of dialog box. And in find, you have to type CCC. And replace, you have to type uh, course on compu computer concepts. And then you can click replace to replace a single occurrence. Or you can click replace all to replace everything inside your open document. All right? I think that's all for the um, presentation. Uh, in this uh, chat box, we have one question. Uh, the question is, sir, alignment shortcut keys, uh, key MS Word for INMM? Yes. The answer is yes. The alignment shortcut keys are same for both uh, LibreOffice Writer as well as MS Word, all right? That's the only question available in um, chat box. If you have any questions, please unmute yourself and you can ask me also. Do you still have any questions or if you want me to go back to any slide to explain more about it, you can ask. We still have some time. Seems no questions. Sorry. Yes. The allow slide are fine in the log program documents uh, create new document. The, um, yes. The yes. This is creating okay. new document. Uh, I hear more. Yes. The control plus N shortcut key here and that or. Yes. Can a software look here? Can I am and then the create new folder. Don't I right click? Uh, and you're going to create new folder and make a canning shortcut key and the kind. The uh, control plus and metaila new document I open No, you have to open the uh, software first. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Mm. Good question. Any other question from the participants? Seems no more questions. If you don't have questions, I have around five questions to ask you to prepare you for the CCC exam. I, I want everybody to participate in this uh, sample questions, okay? My first question is, which shortcut key is used for spelling checking? Any response from the chat box or you can unmute yourself and tell me the answer. Uh, uh. Yes? One. F1. F2. 
Okay, F1, F2, any other? F1. Yes. F7. What? F7. Yes, little, little one, Puyi Silo is correct. The correct answer is F7, all right? Boys are not listening to the lectures, it seems. All right, let's go to the next question. What is the full form of PDF? Printable document format, portable document format, printable document file, portable document file. Yes, any ABCD? Please select ABCD. Which one? B. B, yes. B or D. B or? <laughs> All right, uh, I'll tell you the answer. The correct one is this. B. Portable document format. All right, portable, portable document format. And let's go to the next question. How can you highlight text without using the mouse? Okay, how will you highlight text without using a mouse? A, B, C, D. A, it is impossible. B, use the F5 key. C, use the arrow keys along while holding down a control key. D, use the arrow keys while holding down the safe key. A, B, C, D. D, D Which one? D, yeah, D, D for use the arrow keys while holding down a shift key. All right. That's good answer. I hope so. Let's see. Yes, that's the correct answer. All right. I think I still have two more questions. Let's see. What is the default file extension in LibreOffice Writer? DOC, DOCX, ODF, ODT. ODT. Yeah. ODT, yes. That's the correct answer again. And I think this is the final, uh, the, the last question. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is the use of keyboard shortcut control plus W? What is the use of this control plus W keyboard shortcut? A, B, C, D. Anyone? We have learned how to, uh, what is the use of control W in the previous slide and the question, if the question comes like this in CCC exam, what will you choose? A, B, C, D. B. B, save and close word application. Mm. Another, any other? Seems no, no other answer, but the correct answer is this. Save and close document. Yeah. All right. Um, as per my preparation, I think the um, slide is up to that. Uh, I think my explanation may be a little bit fast, so I, feel it, I finish a little bit earlier, but that's okay. Next time we'll continue with word processing. Uh, and uh, do you still have any other questions? If there is no more questions, thank you for attending this uh, CCC class. And um, I advise you to, I'll post the video again, if possible. And I, uh, at the same time, I advise, I advise you to practice these types of uh, multiple choice questions available in internet, okay? There are so many uh, sample questions available in internet. You can simply search CCC quiz or CCC exam. I hope you'll find lots of uh, links. So you can go to those links and practice using your mobile or your um, computer. So it will be helpful for you. 
All right. So that's all. I'll uh, I'll stop the the recording.